back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories, where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to do an update to a story I covered about a week ago, which is titled, A Spicy Dance Reveals What Really Happens at Bachelor Parties, Causing Two Couples to Separate. And a shout out to Chris for letting me know there was an update here. And guys, as a recap, that's about the guy, I believe he's in his late 20s, and he went to a party with a gal he was dating. They weren't dating too long. He obviously liked her, and at the party, there was a bunch of people that they went to high school with, people he was acquainted with, hadn't seen in a long time. And upon going outside, everybody had like a big circle of chairs around a campfire or something, I don't know what. They were talking about bachelorette parties, things that happen with, uh, you know, when gals and bachelorette parties hire male dancers, I'm using air quotes there, dancers, and stuff like that. And this guy, he jumped in the conversation and said the real truth what goes on. And he knows because a couple guys he knew back in the day did that for some side cash or whatever. And as you or many are aware, it ain't pretty. And that whole, what he revealed, caused a lot of turmoil. And a couple couples that were there start fighting. One of the guys that was there, his wife res- was away on a bachelorette party. So it didn't end too well. And he was wondering, is he the a-hole, the villain, because he was sharing the truth, what he knows. Because his girl, the girl who's dating, was pissed off him for causing problems. And I said no. And all you guys said no, because he was sharing the truth. What happens? But then again, people that are liars or those that are in power, typically government, they hate the truth, so they do everything to suppress it. So our guy here is now writing an update as to what's happened since with a couple a couple of the couples there. And let me tell you, it ain't pretty. And we'll also back up where the thing about bachelorette parties and girls' nights and girls' weekends, a lot of bad things come out of them. So he continues with the story saying, I'm not going to lie, I was not planning on doing an update on this story. I was not really looking to tell a story, I just wanted other perspectives. But a lot of people ask for it, and yeah, it gets pretty dark. But I still tell it, trigger warning. Well, I actually have an update on both of these couples. Both are bad, but I'll start with the lighter one first. He says, uh, H, again, he's speaking in code here, so bear with me. H did end up calling off the wedding. So apparently the stuff I said about the male strippers didn't really mess with his head, or did really mess with his head and made him start start digging up stuff on his girl. I guess he went through his girl's phone without her knowing, and when she got back from her bachelorette weekend, which apparently prior to this is something he never had done. His girl had two Snapchat accounts that he did not know about. Guess she didn't log out, and H went through her phone. So, remember, one of the guys was engaged, they're about to get married, the girl's off on a bat throat weekend, and this guy revealing the truth about male dancers and everything didn't go well, because in case you're new here, guess what? A lot of times the gals and these, they have these male dancers, in, ver- in, in various degrees, cheat, whether giving the, touching the guys you know what, or putting the guys you know what in their mouths, or full on sleeping with dancers, all sorts of stuff here. Uh, This guy, apparently, the only chat on it was a group chat with her friends. But on that Snapchat, she had a bunch of older SCX tapes saved. And she had a bunch of videos saved in the group chat from their weekend. And the video showed her not only hooking up with a male dancer, but also her hooking up with two other guys during the bachelor party weekend. So I don't see how this guy thought he was the bad guy sharing what really goes on bachelor weekends and bachelor parties with male dancers and all that, when right here, he backed up exactly what... He knows. And this guy, this guy in this little story here, gets to find this out as heartbreaking as it for him before he marries her. So he's dodging a big one here. Apparently also is able to read chats where he said that something along the lines of her feeling bad about how crazy she went that weekend, but she's glad she got her, her last urges out and is now ready to settle into her married life. Oh, for cry oh well then that justifies everything. And you know what? I bet you if he did the same thing, she'd be freaking out. You're a cheater. You're a liar. And all her friends were there cheering her on, knowing what she was doing. I mean, this is despicable. So he called off the wedding, and that's that. So in this case, I'm glad he heard what I said because I saved him. His girl went to another city, and he really got her shit off. So good. A good thing he caught that before making it official. Okay. A good thing came out of this. Justice is served. Now on to the next couple that heard his story and it doesn't go so well uh now to the married couple that was there i didn't name them last time but i will just i will here just tell the better story i know some of y'all didn't like the letters for names so i'll just call them john and amy not the real names 
So the night from the original post where I told the story, I know some said that I should have read the room and all. In other words, some people on Reddit gave him a hard time about this. He should have read the room before he went and said what he knows about bachelorette parties. Not only was it hard because it was dark out and I had been drinking, but I also had people there asking questions and giving input in the middle of telling it. So I didn't get an indication about me doing much at the time. John was one of those people who asked me a couple questions. So John and Amy were lapped up when we, they were sitting out there. Amy sitting on John's lap, of course. Apparently, when I started going into describing M in the middle of my story, and I said his real name, uh, real life name, John felt Amy start to tense up and feel uncomfortable. Oh, body language says it all, guys. M's real name is pretty unique, in America at least. I've never seen anybody else with that name. The dude M, for, in case you guys forgot, is the name of his acquaintance who did dancing for a while. He was speaking in code. I think in the other video I had nicknames for these, these initials, and I, but I forget. So when I said it, it was very clear who I was talking about. And like I said, they went to the same high school with him and knew who he was, which I knew nothing at that point. And John knew Amy had M as a male dancer at her party. Well, I guess the more detailed and graphic I got about what M told me in terms of the sexual acts, how rare it was that it didn't happen, and he often recorded everything, the more uncomfortable John felt Amy getting. So she's sitting on his lap and just tightening up, and he can tell. Uh, that had John get really suspicious, and that's where he asked me a couple questions in the middle of my story. I forgot what he asked, but it was nothing crazy. I think one of them was, was that M sent me the videos or just me on, on his phone which he only showed me on his phone. I'm guessing Amy continued to get more uncomfortable and felt, and he felt it and got really suspicious. And that's where he walked away. Then the two other couples walked off as well. Right, that's pretty much how the story ended. And then his girl gave me shit about this. So now fast forward to this past week. This is how I heard it played out. I don't know John or Amy. I know John's younger brother, but I haven't spoken to him since the day I asked him if I was the a-hole for telling my story to them, which he said I was not. P, more fucking initials, P talks to John's brother, but also is close with that group of friends. That is her close friends. I got this information from P, which is info that was regurgitated within the group. So I'm not sure on the accuracy how it played out, but I would guess it's pretty high. But the actual incident itself did happen 100%. I know because it's documented now. John and Amy argued inside the house, and I'm guessing all the way home. Amy assured John that Nothing happened with M or any of the other male strippers there. Okay, guys, you're hearing this. After that party, when that guy revealed what he knows, his wife assured him, Honey, sweetheart, I love you. Nothing happened. Okay, we heard this. She also stayed with the story that she only got a partial lap dance from M. Oh, that's what they call the cheating with the strippers, a partial lap dance, code. But I had to stop because she couldn't stop laughing. Apparently, John didn't fully buy it and came up with a plan to make her admit the truth. Early this week, John confronted Amy about it again, but this time he stated that he knew the facts are already so for her to come clean and be honest with him. John told Amy that he had been in contact with me, and I also put him in contact with M, and from that he knew the entire story and that M still had the evidence. Okay. I can confirm that neither me or M have spoken to him. I haven't spoken to him since that, that, that night. M said he's never spoken to the dude in his life. So the guy was totally bluffing his wife. And he obviously did a very good, very good job doing that. This guy sounds like a cop. So I guess Amy felt like she was caught and admitted to everything. Oh, everything? I thought she said nothing happened. She got a partial lap dance and was laughing the whole time. She told John that she fucked M that night. This made John snap. I can imagine. And what happened to her partial lap dance thing? He beat her. Bad. She ended up going to the hospital. I believe she's still in the hospital today. And apparently, the only thing that made him stop was his kids running in the room and attempting to shield their mom. Holy crap. And this poor kid seen this whole thing. John, of course, was arrested, charged with an attempted... I gotta watch what I say here... Attempted M-U-R-D-E-R -E and a few other charges. So you can see it was a pretty severe incident of abuse. In his mugshot they posted online, he has visible scratches, bumps, and bruises on his face. So I guess they were fighting hard before he overpowered her. 
Holy shit. So, no one can blame the husband here for being pissed off. No one can blame him for snapping. But the problem is, is that now his life is ruined. Because he, they threw, whether he was attempting to do what he's being charged, attempted M-U-R-D-E-R or not, that charge is on him. And now he's definitely doing some prison time. Or a lot more prison. Who knows? She's in the hospital. The kids are screwed up because they, they walked in on him, you know, wailing on the wife and all that. And so the, the father's gone. Mom's in the hospital, beat up. It's going to be lots of trauma, big mess. All because she cheated. She lied. Let him think that he, she was a great wife. They got married, all that. I mean, obviously, he took it too far. I mean, again, nobody can blame this guy for being pissed off and losing it. But look what happened. The whole family's torn apart. Now, she's, it's her fault. She started this whole thing, but now, now, he, look what he did. You know, I mean, it's just, it's terrible. And those kids are, are so screwed up because of this whole thing. Um, I don't know why John said he had spoken to me. Maybe he knew that it would work and get her to admit it. As far as I know, no one has seen this Reddit post from that night, and P knows about it now. But I showed her after the fact that when, when she was telling me all about that and, and that I'm posting. I think P's the girl he's hooking up with. So now he's a one. Now he's blaming himself for this, or he's thinking he should blame himself. It is not this guy's fault for again revealing what he knew about strippers and bachelor parties. It's the women that cheated. They're the a holes here. She thinks that John might have seen the post and knew that she did it, so came up with a way to make her admit it. But P, P says <coughs> that she's never used Reddit and has never heard any of these people in that friend group talk about using Reddit. But she also doesn't really know John or Amy. So I guess it's possible that John saw my original post. I'm not sure, but P said she's not going to tell anybody about the post. I don't think he saw the post. I just think he was smart enough to, to lie to his wife and say, I did some digging and I found out, so you better confess right now. And she's probably been stressing about it all week, and she finally confessed. He snapped, wailed on her a lot, and then here's where things are. So yeah, that's the updates. I didn't feel like an a-hole before, but now I really do. I don't want to lead to anybody getting beat up, hospitalized, and getting arrested. <laughs> or, or prison time. I really do feel like crap about this whole situation now. I doubt I'll ever update this again. I don't see what else would have, have to be known. Now I got to deal with this shit in my conscience and my psyche. He also says, uh, I keep seeing that people say that they've been married for six years. I was saying they were both six years older than me. I'm almost 30. They're in their mid, mid to late 30s, and I believe they've been married for about 14 to 15 years. So if this couple he's talking about were are mid mid thirties and married 14, 15 years. They got married in their early twenties, which is dumb as shit. And she was a young tw young twenty something when this whole thing went down. Whole family's torn apart because of her and what she did. Because she cheated, lied, made him think he was marrying somebody who she wasn't. And this whole time a giant lie. One asked a question: Is she? Uh, are those kids his? You know. But now, because he snapped, he lost control, and again, nobody can blame for losing it and getting pissed off now he's going to do prison time depending on how much if that attempted m-u-r-d-e-r -E charge sticks depending on the prosecutor and where he lives and how good his lawyer is he'll probably do a plea deal and, and do some time and those kids are messed up it's a big giant mess and she's in the hospital i mean <laughs> nobody would uh i don't think many people would say that she wouldn't deserve a good well, I, I can't say, but you know what I'm talking about here, but not not what happened here. But but anyhow, it's a big fucking mess, and it, and it all came down to, you know, what, what she did years ago and lied about it. But this guy, in my opinion, is not the villain here. He shared what happens, so it's not his fault, and he has to know that. So he was wondering all that, and yeah, I don't think he's the villain here, but, you know, people don't like the truth. People that are liars or trying to cover things up, they don't like the truth. Those that are in power, that their power can be challenged, don't like the truth. Governments hate the truth. Governments hate free speech in spite of what they claim. Just pay attention to their actions. I'm sure many of you guys are well aware of that. So anyhow, it's a sad ending, but at least the first couple, where that, that guy's fiance was on the bachelorette party, he found out about her, and so a brother was saved here. So I'm going to do a few comments here and wrap this thing up. One guy says, not the a-hole. She, uh, still not the a-hole, dude. People made their own bad decisions prior to you having anything to do with this. And you just walked in on a conversation during a party and shared what you know. People's dirt getting exposed is not the fault of the, of the beam of the light hitting it. Another one. Not the a-hole. You weren't the cheaters. 
They chose to cheat on their partners. You'd uh, mention the info that you knew without context. Maybe get context in the future to avoid confusion, but you did nothing wrong. Am I the only one that feels that the male strippers are kind of cheesy and more funny than sexy? Well, I think they are ridiculous, but another one. This is from a guy. He says, I was asked to do a strip show once for fans that went to my shows. The shows were not strip shows. I said no at first because I didn't know how to do it, but I caved. They were like animals. Almost every woman in the bridal party, including the bride who finished me, had my you-know-what in their mouth. There you go. No SEX, though. Oh, well, that's okay. Only, uh, only time I did it. And I made a nice amount of money as well. I also knew two guys in college that danced at private parties, and they had stories. Women cheat with male strippers. It's rare, a rare party where the bride-to-be does not cheat. So a bit of advice for guys out there. If your girl is going to see a male stripper at a private party, realize that at the very least, she probably struck the, the strippers you-know-what. Yep, there you go. Ah, one more. This guy says, buddy, you didn't do anything wrong except have a mature, grown-up conversation in front of other adults. Cheaters will always cheat, and do you honestly think those who cheat on their stag or head nights and so-called get-outs with their system will never cheat again? Christ, they're supposed to be marrying the love of their lives, for fuck's sake. I don't condone violence, but that marriage was over before it began because she cheated, and the whole marriage was built on a lie because she lied, and for all we know, the guy's kid isn't his. I bet he's wondering that. So, in my opinion, this guy, it's not his fault. He shared the truth, and look what happened. And those people made their bed, now they're lying in it. And it's just a shame again that that family is now broken up because, yes, she started the whole thing, and she's a liar, but then he lost it, and nobody can blame him for losing it, and he went too far, look what happened. Big fucking mess. But it's not this dude's fault. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And, guys, let me know your experiences with this. And you guys that uh, maybe... I don't know, maybe you guys know some people or know a guy that met, did the bachelorette parties. Let's hear what you, hear, you, you know about that. Or whether you are guys that were bouncers and saw girls on girls' nights and bachelorette parties, or you or you were bartenders, or you were limo drivers, whatever. Let's hear more about it in the comment section. Share away. We can maybe help some guys out there. Have a sure like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.